What's going on, Scorpio gang, gang, gang? Hope all is well with you guys. To my returning OG subscribers, what's popping? What's good? To my newly subscribed, hey y'all, thank you for allowing the channel to continue to grow. I really do appreciate that. To my members on the community, I love you guys. To the moon and back, y'all fucking know that. This is that on that period. This is always a Scorpio affair. Just like straight up, I feel it every time. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, north node, anywhere you have Scorpio placements in your chart. Grab your boo, your hookah, your blunt, your spliff, your whiskey, your wine, your taco, vodka, whatever it takes Scorpio to tap into our, to our energy. Because see, people do what they have to do. Scorpio do what the fuck we want to do. Why? Because we live in this life the best way we know how and we getting through what we need to get through. Who am I talking to? Yeah, I got some messages today, Scorpio. What's good with y'all? I love y'all energy too. You know why? It's real. I can identify with it. It make me feel good. <laughs> it make me feel whole. God said, let me let me let you experience what your energy does to another person, how it affects somebody else. Why? Because see, we, we, you know, Scorpio, I think we keep acting my nose itching. Something going on. I'm in the channel now. <laughs> hey. What I'm getting is somebody is not realizing their worth. Somebody lost their potential while they were porn. Who am I talking to? Who lost their dream while they were porn? Somebody lost a child while they were porn. Who am I talking to? Somebody lost a job while they was porn. Somebody lost a pregnancy while they were porn. Who am I talking to? We just got to be careful about this yoke being equally yoked. Listen, listen. And this free. <laughs> Thank you, God. See, as a woman, I'm talking to women right now. I got some smoke for y'all, Scorpio males too. Anthony, if you, Haley, if you're in here, Daddy Warbucks, Wendell, who else? Jamie, Jason. See, as a woman, and I think this shit go all the way back to Adam and Lizard, or Eve, or whoever the hell. We we keep trying to to paint a picture, but what we paint this picture from is 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 making it distorted. Who am I talking to? Who actually painting themselves? But when you get done painting, it don't look nothing like the picture. I'll wait. You know how your children draw you? And the only reason you know that's you is because you got a shirt that got a number six on it or got an M on it, but you look <laughs> you look like a stick figure. You wouldn't know that was Grandpa if he didn't have on his ball cap that he wear all the time. It's, it's, that's, that's, what I'm, that's what I'm talking about when I'm talking about frequency. Let me help y'all out. Men, I just, I'm just talking from my perspective. Men, we can, you know, we can go back and forth in the comments. It don't matter. I'm just telling you from my perspective. See, what I'm learning about men, hey, help somebody. They already have a portrait. When they see you with your wig on, they see a stick figure with a wig on. If you ain't that portrait, portrait wife, that's why Steve Harvey said we already know what we going to do. Why? Because the portrait, they, they can sleep with several women because it ain't, it's the picture they sleeping with. Who am I trying to help? You wondering why they passing you by and why they over here with the lady who, you know, she don't show no flesh. 
She always covered up. She always soft spoken. It's the portrait. See that look better than the than the stick figure with the wig on, with the lashes on. I'm just I'm I'm I'm, I'm painting a picture, guys. Follow me in this. So you date this guy, and I'm gonna tell you something about a man. No matter what part or stage of life that they're in. That portrait don't change. Who am I talking to? See, our picture change. With us, it's super, It's more superficial because men, they kind of tend to go with the physical when it comes to a woman. That's what we think. That's what they've been telling us. No, it ain't that. It's that you don't fit the portrait. Yeah, you a good picture. Yeah, you good to sit on somebody's desk. But you're not a portrait. Let me ask you this. If you buy a Mona Lisa, it's worth a lot of money. But if somebody took a black marker, who am I talking to? And took a black marker, took a, put a straight line through a Mona Lisa, how much is it worth then? Oh, God, thank you. I'm going to help somebody. That black mark... Is the wig, it is the lash, it is the personality, it is the inner work that need to be done. Because of this tree of life shit, God gave them a portrait. And God gave us this desire for a husband. Ooh, who am I talking to? That's why when you let Boo Boo go and he he move on with Susie. You be like, damn, people be like the superficial world, see. Anything that's purpose in your life, you got to have people around you that's spiritual enough to analyze it and be able to talk some sense into you. Who am I talking to? Oh, yeah, I just skipped from, I went from picture to portrait, back to spirituality. Why? Because to me, it just seemed like it's a, it, it, it go together in some ways or what's going on. It's, it's explaining to me what's going on. Because, see, we, we've, we've learned in society to build our identity on the outwardness of us. How, how many years you went to school? How many letters behind your name? Um, who waistline the smallest? Who stomach the flattest? Because, see, society done taught us that's what, that's, what's, that's what brings the attraction. You. The attractive one on the outside. Who am I talking to? The picture. See, the thing about the picture is once, once a person, a following, a community, whatever it is, teeth and tongue fall out. Once the wig come off, once the lashes come off, once the real personality set in, you a stick figure. And people, they still looking for the portrait. You can just, I love that because you can just put that, you can identify that with any part of your life. So it's not that you're not good enough for this person. You're just not on their frequency. So they can sleep with you. And not have any attachment. Because, see, a man got sense enough to know that if you ain't the portrait, God put that in their DNA. If you ain't the portrait, you just another woman they sleeping with. Y'all, we looking for husbands, but they already got a portrait of their wife. And what you doing is, because, see, that, that portrait is spiritual. Ooh, I'm trying to help somebody. In the sense that I'm speaking, it's something spiritual, the portrait. Because see, the picture, it's a snapshot. It's a psh, psh, psh. People take portraits and they place them in one place. They want, it to, they want it to stand still in time. They want people to walk by it and admire it. They want people to put a price on it. How much would you sell that for? Ooh, that's beautiful. Who am I talking to? So many of us women have altered how we look on the outside <laughs> to be a wife, 
to fit into what we think husbands are looking for? When the truth is, the portrait that they have, you might have a pot belly. You might be a little overweight. You might be missing a few teeth. You might be cockeyed and all that shit. I see it all the time. You got this woman who got everything going for herself. At least that's what she think. I just don't know why this ain't work with Jim Bob. I'm, I'm, I got my job. I got my career. I'm single. I don't have any kids. Blah, 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 blah. And Jim Bob over there with somebody who got seven kids that ain't none of his. And he happy. He had a portrait. See, when, when you fit that portrait, your circumstances or what's going on in your life, it don't matter. Y'all going to be together. That's equally yoked. That's being equally yoked. Some of us don't even talk about that in the beginning, right? Being equally yoked. <laughs> no, why? Because I just get the energy that the wife thing is a 7D thing. If you go from the 7D, 7D on down and see what each level is, if you look at it in terms of rank, 7D is kind of in a good place. If you look at what's on the bottom of it and what's on the top to 10, who am I talking to? Or whatever the last D is. 10 could be significant if it's one. I'm just, I'm, I'm, I'm channeling now. See, what, what, what that equally yoke is talking about is. It's how we present ourselves, first of all. I think we're all fair game. When it comes to meeting a man, follow me on this. But I feel like that first five, when, 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 when Steve Harvey said that first five minutes to me, it automatically went to something spiritual. Why? Because how could somebody know you in five minutes unless it be spiritual, right? I ain't talking about no fucking first impression, how somebody dressed, how they look. I'm talking about the impartation that they took away from five minutes. What he's really saying is... Something should connect in me if you if you if you fit that portrait. What he knows is that portrait. Thank you, Source. Steve Harvey know it ain't gonna take but five minutes for them to lock you in on that portrait or a stick figure. I'm trying to help somebody. That's why your presentation, what is your presentation? The, the highest self. The highest self. The highest self. You know why? Because every wife is a husband. But you're not the portrait of these husbands that you've been sleeping with. These people you've been sleeping with that you're trying to make a husband. See, you really don't have to try. What source is saying that you ain't got to put on the makeup? I'm not saying this is about how somebody looks, guys. What I'm trying to tell you is the portrait is spiritual. So whatever you're doing to yourself to make this happen, that's not it. What you need to do is make yourself your higher self. And then the yoke will find you. It'll, it'll line up. It has to. That's why you hear about people who, who just merge together. You never heard them talk about fiance and when they got gauged in the big wedding. You just wake up one morning and you and this person, y'all just done been together forever. The only next thing to do is get married if you want to. Who am I talking to? That's real connection. That's that portrait. That portrait will make you do some stuff you ain't never did before to get some shit you ain't never experienced before. Who am I talking to? We got to stop being a man's job and be his assignment. Ooh, that was good. That was free. Because it's, it's, it's something about a job and a career. It's totally different. A job is a paycheck. 
A career means you invest in a lot because you see long term with it. Who am I talking to? Y'all hear that cat? It sounds like a baby crying. Every time I sit here at 5 in the morning, I have my door open or my window open. I hear that, that cat crying. And then I just want to shift a little bit to the, to the male Scorpio real quick. I want to I wanna understand, like, what's y'all's, um, see, see, the, the, let me, let me say this to <laughs> Scorpio females before I move to the males. See, the thing about the portrait is, <laughs> the thing about the portrait is, it, 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 it almost, it's like, it's almost like if you had a missing cat or a missing child, like the portrait is what locks it, is what tells every single living thing that this is what this person looks like. This is what they had on the last time we see, saw them. This is which way they was going. This is this is um who they were with. This is what type of car they were in. You understand where I'm trying to go with this shit? I can sit with a makeup artist or a sketch artist and say, this is how this person that raped me look. He had full eyes here. But ain't nothing, nothing, nothing. It might come close. But if I had a portrait, even if it was a portrait of them when they, when they were young, with the technology that they, they could progress, who am I talking to? <laughs> See, the portrait is not about the ever... Uh, it, Am I saying it right? The evolving of you. You know, the different phases of you. <laughs> hey, help me, God. Help me. It's the seven, the, the frequency. It's something about the frequency that says to this man, this is my wife. Yeah, she in the club now, but this, it's a frequency. Even if you in the club. See, we, we keep trying to figure it out. It ain't that. It's get your shit together. Get you to your higher self. So your frequency is where it's supposed to be. Because listen, until your frequency is where it need to be, you're going to keep frequency shit that you, that's not for you. You look like a stick figure to it. You, 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 you look like a stick figure. Because I'm going I'm to say this and I'm just going to be real. I'm just going to be real transparent. If y'all think when a man get in a room with a naked woman, he worrying about how many stretch marks she got, you done lost your damn mind. He happy he in the room with a naked woman. Because if she's not that portrait, it don't fucking matter anyway. Who am I talking to? You can get tucked, sucked, picked up, dropped down, whatever you want to do. And you still ain't got no husband. And you still sitting there rationalizing your outer materialism. How you look, how flat your stomach is, your career. You got all this money. You got this house. You ain't got no children, but you ain't got no husband. And that's the only thing you desire in your life. Because why? It's the one thing you don't have. Who am I talking to? Because you're not the portrait. Why are you not the portrait? Why? Because you have, you're, not, you're not on the right frequency. You're not your higher self. Yeah, you working on you, but... Who wants to be, who, I don't want to work in progress. I want to meet you at the mountaintop. Who am I talking to? I got my, I got my vision in the valley, baby. Once you get the vision, you got to go. I, I can't keep going down in the valley. Not once I got my vision. My vision is instructing me where to go. My higher self. So now I'm at my higher self. I'm talking about my spirituality. I'm talking about, I'm talking about the shit that really matters at the end of the day. Not how this, not, you know, it's good to look good and feel good about yourself. I'm not talking about that. Don't get lost in the bullshit, Scorpio, okay? But it's something about, and this is how I, this is how my my ancestors are giving it to me. Look at look at that inset how it went straight up. When I keep saying it, it's something about every time I said it, it goes straight up, and then when I stop, it go back. 
it's something about um, the frequency, right? It's something about your higher self. See what I what I'm what I'm getting is when you're operating at your higher self. When the when 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 this husband when they when they when they mirror when they when they see the portrait, they don't they don't care if your stomach flat or not. Because I, I gotta I'm not a man, but I gotta feel I gotta a uh, understanding of I'm trying to correlate it in my mind like what would why would see because we so programmed about this outer man. Lord, I wish I could help. When this man lock on this portrait, it don't matter if your stomach flat, if your ass big, if you 40, if you 50, if you 10 years older, 10 years younger, if you got wrinkles, gray hair, who am I talking to? It ain't that you down here or up here. It's that you're not equally yoked with the person you keep trying to mate with and marry. Why? Because you're not your higher self. That's why. That's the only reason why, Scorpio. Because the way your life set up and the way you keep deathing and dying and rebirthing and reincarnating and coming back and all this shit, you, you, you cannot operate on a frequency below seven. That's what I'm hearing. So you got these women that the man become the job. They clock in. They pour, they pour, they pour whatever they need. You know, they your needs go go unmet trying to meet their needs because you feel like this some this a man of substance. Could be. But the substance that you're that you're pouring into, it is it, it don't have nowhere to go because you're not the portrait. People say, well, okay, how do you know whether you're the portrait or not? I'm gonna tell you why. It's just what I said. It's the it's the language that you didn't speak. It's the things that happened that you did not say out your mouth. Y'all just merge together. Nobody said we go together. Nobody said we're going to move in together. Nobody said we're going to get married, but here we is. See, we... We too caught up in the chase of it. See, if you was if you was a man's assignment, he'd have to find out his mission. Who am I talking to? If you were their assignment, they'd have to know from point A to point B what the fuck to do. When you they portrait, they know just what to do. They know just what to say. Why? Because it's spiritual. This ain't this person. This just like prophesying or somebody speaking in fucking tongues. This is a whole nother frequency. This is a wife frequency. Yeah, that's what I said. A wife frequency. That's what I said. The 7D. I kept talking about it. What is the 7D? What is the 7D frequency? Why is this significant to me? What is what is going on with my collective 70, 70, 70? So I've just been reading up on it. You want to become a man's assignment. That's how you know you're the portrait. That was free. That's how you know you're the portrait. Oh, this one, he called you a little more. Oh, this person, he really concerned about your day. You can hear it in their voice. Oh, this person bought you some roses and it ain't your birthday. It ain't no anniversary. It ain't no... This person called you and told you he outside. He want to take you to dinner to get you something to eat. And what people don't know about Scorpio is them little things for us. But what everybody needs to know is all the hoopla with the ring and all this marriage shit. It's, are you the portrait? Are you the portrait or the stick figure? It's just simple to me. If you if you if you work on a job, some people work on jobs for years. They clock in, they clock out, they don't want no responsibility. When they get home, they home, right? 
And you got some people, they go to work and they go in the positions, them low level positions and they push and they excel and they're looking to make management or CEO. They want to stay in that company and they want to grow and cultivate. They take, they got to take all the training courses. They got to go through all the, you know, whatever the requirements are. See, when a man lock in on his portrait, you become his assignment then. You don't have to work so hard. Why? Because, see, the thing about the portrait is, most time the portrait happens when you look in your worst. Why? Because it's a direct indication that this shit ain't have nothing to do with what I do on a normal basis. But this has to do with who I am when you strip off my outwardness. But see, the frequency, the portrait is what got this person saying, they ain't even looking at that. When a man locks in on the portrait, they start going off and hey, help me out, man, because I'm I'm coming I'm coming for y'all next. They kind of start clearing a path. They start focusing more on a mission because they know they have to lead you and they know they can't just lead you anywhere or they'll be leading you everywhere. Who am I talking to? A man without a purpose ain't good. And that's why being unequally yoked with somebody ain't good either. That's why being the, the stick figure is not where you want to be. I'm going to help somebody out. So, I just feel like you're somebody wife, but not everybody wife, see? And I feel like we take those, those bumps and bruises along this highway of Trying to find somebody to love us. But see, we ain't got to find nobody. All we got to do is find ourselves. Man, I wish I'd have got there when I was 19 or 20. Just like Matoka, just figure out who the fuck you are right now. Love on yourself. Don't pour into nobody as far as to you, to you are at a point of depletion. Know what... You know reciprocation is. Know what being know, know that selfish ain't being selfless. You know, just I wish just little shit I wish I knew years ago. You can't paint a picture for a man. You you all you have to already be the painting, the portrait. I just feel like that's so powerful right now. <laughs> Cause it ain't nothing wrong with you. It's just it's 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 your presentation. Why? Because because you're not your full. You're not your highest self. Something something gotta help you identify the yoke, Scorpio. If the man has the portrait, what what it what is it that's gonna help the woman identify the yoke? I'll tell you what it is. The other yoke. You gonna identify with it because it already identified with you before the, before the beginning of time. Who am I talking to? Somebody keeps selling somebody somewhere they ain't got no business being. We blame it on everybody, but really it's us. And even no matter where you at right now, Scorpio, in your relationships and your life, I dare you to start loving on yourself. I dare you to bring yourself to the highest depths of that not depths, the highest, um, the highest vibration of you. I mean that. And when I say that, I mean keep climbing towards that because these different frequencies, you're gonna get different things. You're going to begin to realize what I'm saying here is it's true. You're going to get this vibe, the same downloads, the same, you know, um, messages. Because what I feel like is going on, I feel like the world has a mixed up of how, how do we get here? How do we get to being in these connections that we feel like are going to save our lives for some reason? You know something else, um, you know, when a, I feel like when a man really loves a woman, he brings her into his world. 
Whatever that world is, whatever that means to that man, he brings, he, you know, like, he want to, immediately, I want you to meet my family. Whether it's a cousin or whatever, I want you to meet my family. This person want to be around you all the time. But see, here's, here's the key to this, Scorpio. Here's the key to this. Not you thinking somebody is a stalker, but the key to it is you, I, you feeling okay with it. You mirroring it. Like, damn, I like being around him, too, and I ain't only knowing him for two days. Like, when this person, you see this person coming in your house with a, a couple of things, and then it get to be some more things, you, it don't bother you. You happy about it. Not happy to the point where you like, oh, yeah, yeah, but just like, it's okay. It's almost like them bringing a bag of groceries in. It's so matter-of-factly, Right? So Scorpio, that that's that's my thing. I, I I just you know, when Steve that thing wrestled with me from the time I heard him say it in the first five minutes, they know y'all hear me talk about it a lot in the videos. What they gonna do with us? Like like we just some type of accessible. But then my spirit guys and my ancestors gave me the downloads of what he mean. See, people sell books, but they coming from a place of these same downloads. It's your ancestors. It's it's you mirroring. It's you got to vibrate to your highest to higher self anyway to be able to tap in to your ancestors. Because they're the ones driving you and pushing you forward. They're trying to push, they're trying to go further than you did, than they did. It just makes so much sense. It's the portrait, not the picture, Scorpio. Hey, I love you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.